Edu turned down a lucrative new deal at Arsenal to take his first steps into the world of multi-club football. Mail Sport understands that the Gunners offer was comparable with the deal made by Nottingham Forest owner Evangelos Marinakis to head up his football portfolio that includes Olympiacos and Rio Avenue. Indications that Forrest have offered to treble EDU's arsenal salary, which is believed to be 2 to 3 million pounds per year, are wide of the mark. Crucially, it is understood Marinakis is not the only multi-club supremo to be interested in securing EDU services. And while he is in line for a significant salary increase at his next job, Edu is attracted to the global positions he is being lined up for. Arsenal suffered a huge blow on Monday morning when Mail Sport exclusively revealed that sporting director Edu has left the club news that the club confirmed later that afternoon. Since rejoining the Gunners in July 2019, the Brazilian has been responsible for capturing key signings such as Martin Odegaard and Declan Rice and in leading Arsenal's strong performance in recruitment and delivering major players to the club. He is widely thought of as one of the leading sporting directors in world football for masterminding the change in Arsenal's signing surge as well as supporting the offloading of troubled stars such as Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Masoud Ozil, who were considered to be part of a failed past. As exclusively revealed by Mail Sport later on Monday afternoon, Edu is in talks over fronting Nottingham Forest owner Evangelos Maranaki's multi-club operation after resigning from his role at the Emirates Stadium. EDU's pending exit has left many Gunners fans concerned, given the impact he has had, so in light of the news, Mail Sport has taken a look at every one of his signings and rated whether they were a hit, miss, or if the jury is still out. Edu, regularly photographed by the club photographer alongside new signings and quoted in official club releases, has been the driving force behind a cultural change at the club since he took the role in 2019. He was appointed because he gets the club and what is needed. Then director of football Raul Sanales said, We're very excited that Edu is joining the team. He has great experience and technical football knowledge and most importantly is a true Arsenal man. He understands the club and what we stand for to our millions of fans around the world. Edu, 46, has said in an interview that he is proud to have supported Arteta in changing how people see our club and the vision people have of Arsenal compared to the past. A cultured Brazilian midfielder, he was signed by Arsene Wenger and played for the Invincibles with teammates such as Dennis Bergkamp, Patrick Vieira, and Martin Keown. I want to win the best way possible, he added. When we win the trophy, it is because we did it the right way. Ask every single Arsenal fan how they feel about that. He spoke after Arsenal lost out in the title race against Manchester City. His departure will be felt among the Arsenal fan base who will await a club announcement about the reasons behind the decision with interest. Arsenal play in Milan on Wednesday with Arteta due to speak on Tuesday when he will be asked about EDU's departure and what this means to him personally. One former teammate said there is a class about the guy.